This is the place? It's run by Inquest. We'll have to be careful. I'll watch your back while you're in the vision. stealthily and see if we can take them by surprise. There are too many of them to attack head on. Hold up a second. Why are you so interested in Cadiern and his dissenters? It's simple, really. From the moment we awakened, our mother has molded us into an idealized version of nobility. She doesn't see or care who we are, so long as we match her ideal of us. I felt it too. The pressure to be perfect. Yes. And the pain that comes with failing to live up to her expectations. Why can't she love us unconditionally? She claims to believe that all weeds and blossoms are equal, yet she tries to make us all into blossoms. I love you, just as you are. We belong together. Come on, my darling. Let's go rescue our sprouts. Put your hand on my arm. But if your way fails, we do it my way. Stay close. No! The shield! Curse you creatures! 
lived, I assure you. This... this is real life. Pain. Pain. Humiliation and eventually death. For us and for them. You have to kill them. Me? <laughs> It was all in the interest of knowledge gain. You beans are an anomaly. It wasn't personal. I am going to tear your ears off. You! Don't let it get away! No! Where did it go? No! It got away. Forget that monster. It's time to go home. We have to get the injured back to safety. I don't like being bested. I refuse to be anyone's fool. Not these horrible creatures, and certainly not Wynne's. Stop obsessing. By now, Wynne is all the way out in the Silver Waste. And you're not a fool. Wynne is guarding an important secret. No one person should control our fate, my love. You really think she knows something she's not telling us? I know she does. She said to Mother, they can never know. It could exert unspeakable power over all Silvari. I must know what that power is. Once the Sprouts are safe, you and I are going out to the Silver Wastes to confront her. <laughs>